Question two is a question involving distance, speed and time. And um, we can see that Andy, it says cycles a distance of 30 kilometers at an average speed of 24 kilometers an hour. And then he runs a distance of 12 kilometers, an average speed of eight kilometers an hour. And we've got to work out the total time that Andy takes. And finally, we've got to give that in hours and minutes. So to do this, we're going to use one of those triangles we can use for working out distance, speed and time. So we've got distance at the top and we've got speed times time at the bottom. And we're actually interested in the time there. So we can say, well, time then from that triangle is equal to distance divided by speed. So for the first part of Andy's journey, we can say, what was the time? Well, it was the distance is 30 kilometers. And it's important to note that that's in kilometers and that's in kilometers. So that's OK, because the units are consistent there. So it's 30 divided by 24. And I'm going to do that on the calculator. So 30 over 24 just means 30 divided by 24. And we can see we've got five over four on the calculator. And I'm just going to press S over SD button there. Gives me 1.25. And that's actually 1.25 hours. So that's the first part of his journey. And we're not going to convert it into hours and minutes yet. We're just going to leave it like that and do the conversion at the end. So that's the first part of his journey. So I'll just call that one. And then the second part of his journey, he's now going to do 12 kilometers and he's going to do that at a speed of eight kilometers per hour. So we're going to work that one out as well on the calculator. And we can see we get three over two, which again, if we use the SD button, we get 1.5. So we've got 1.5 hours. And so the total time we can just get by adding them together. So the total is equal to 1.25 plus 1.5. And that's going to give me 2.75. So the first part of that is fairly straightforward. The first part being the bit in front of the decimal. So we can see we've got two hours, but we need to convert the 0.75. So we've got two hours and another bit, which is a 0.75 hours, if I just keep it as hours for a second. But we want to convert that 0.75 hours into minutes. And all we've got to do to convert the 0.75 hours into minutes is simply multiply this 0.75 by 60 to get it in minutes. So if again, if we go to the calculator and we do that, we've got 0 0.75 times 60 is 45 minutes. So we ended up with two hours and 45 minutes and the reason why we would multiply by 60 minutes there is just because the 60 minutes in an hour so it's quite quite straightforward if we think of it like that but um, a common mistake would be to say it's two hours and 75 minutes but it's it's not just because there's only 60 minutes in an hour so that's our final answer there two hours and 45 minutes so I hope that's been helpful and if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving our video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.